Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I'm on Weight Watchers and I count calories and macros. Happy Friday. It is Friday. It is the weekend and it is time for this week's weigh in ww workshop topic and we'll set some goals for the next week so if you're excited give this video a big huge thumbs up make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because we do a weigh in every single friday check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching where i offer personalized to you macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly highly recommend macros and calories by the way that's how i've lost well over 135 pounds. You'll also find links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's jump into my weigh-in, my week, and the WW workshop topic. I hope you had an incredible week. I actually had a really good week. In fact, I just got home from boot camp. I do go to boot camp every single Friday at 5 a.m. I actually go Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And it reminded me that I wanted to share with you guys some new workout clothes that I picked up from Yvette sportswear. I have a lot of Yvette sportswear. I love their leggings, their sports bras, and they've also put out quite a few pieces in their line for athleisure wear, as well as a little bit more dressy pieces as well. So they've expanded from just being a workout clothing line, which I love. Now, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love all of their workout clothes, but I did pick up a few other pieces from Yvette Sportswear, and I thought that this is the perfect time to share it with you since I wore them to boot camp this morning. First, let's talk about the sports bra that I wore. This is going into the wash after this, but I love this so much. You'll know if you follow me why I love this. Look at the full coverage on the back. This is a long line sports bra, so it helps conceal any excess goodness on the stomach area. And for me, I carry a lot of loose skin in my back and I love a good long line full coverage back sports bra. This is the Echo Seamless Razorback Padded Yoga Bra. I have mine in the shade blue in a size large. It's made from 80% recycled polyamide. These sports bras are eco-friendly for a green earth. It's a low impact sports bra that's great for doing yoga, Pilates, and stretching. It is a light support bra with a v-neckline and like I said I absolutely love that it's a full coverage back. These are the types of sports bras that I immediately gravitate towards. This is so buttery soft and comfortable and even though it's a light support bra I did great with this at boot camp and we know that this area for me is a problem area and this kept everything in place while I ran, did burpees, mountain climbers, all the things at boot camp. I love this bra. I'm actually going to pick this up in a couple more colors. And these are the leggings that I wore to boot camp this morning. Oh my gosh, I love these. These are so flattering, literally shrink a size. I felt all felt and thin in these leggings and the support and compression of these is out of this world. My thigh area is another problem area for me. I have quite a bit of loose skin and these leggings held everything in. I mean, these look tiny. They have a lot of stretch to them and they're very, very compressive. These are the shift high-waisted power Powerful running leggings. These are designed for high impact workouts. They're a super soft fabric and streamlined shape to give you support. The high waistband also shapes and conceals the tummy area as well. And like I said, they have a good amount of stretch to them, but the compression is out of this world. I absolutely loved these leggings. Again, they held everything in. I also picked up these leggings because I love a good colorful legging. I feel like you can express your personal style with fun, colorful leggings. And this particular one from Yvette, I love. I have several pairs. These are the Shift Mesh Yoga Leggings. I have mine in a size large in yellow. These are soft and breathable, comfortable leggings. They are a light support legging that are full length with a high-waisted fit, supportive waistband, four-way stretch mesh panel. The inseam of these is 26 inches. So you can see at the bottom of the leg, there is that mesh 
panel. So it's a little bit see-through. It is only, at, mesh is only on the ankle. So there's no mesh on the actual legging itself. It just adds that little bit of fun to the bottom. These are also buttery soft. Even though they're a lighter support legging, I still wear these to boot camp. And I love how comfortable these are. Again, either of these leggings can be worn day to day or for working out. We have a lighter support and a high support. While I was on their website grabbing some new workout clothes, I picked up a few of their more athleisure, stylish, everyday wear pieces. First one is this cardigan. Oh my goodness. I love this cardigan. I have mine in the color gray. It is full. It is a three quarter length cardigan with pockets. This is the shift front open pocket oversized sweater. I have mine again in gray in a size medium. It is incredibly soft and cozy. It's featured with a relaxed fit, two side pockets, and hip bottom length that gives you a very chic look. I love that it hits right below the hips. It's a loose style for a relaxed fit. There's two side pockets, a front open, and long sleeved. It is a knitted material, and it is heavy weight. This is a really high quality cardigan for the price and I absolutely love it. This is definitely a go-to staple piece for me. I pretty much live in cardigans inside my house. As I've lost weight, I'm cold all the time. So I do love a good sweater and a cardigan. This could be worn to the office. This could be worn after your workout or like I said, just lounging around your home. Who am I buying white? I used to never wear white. I would always wear dark colors to camouflage. But I fell in love with this sweater. And like I said, I really wanted to add some more of their nicer, more designer pieces to my wardrobe. I love that this is a tie-waisted sweater. So it definitely gives your body some shape. Again, this is something you could wear to the office. You could wear it out to eat. You could wear it to the grocery store. And again, you could wear it pre or post workout. This is the Shift Front Open Belted Hollow Knit Sweater. I have mine in a size large in white. This is an everyday sweater. It's designed in a knitted fabric that is incredible incredibly soft and cozy. I love the triangle hollowed pattern of it and the waist belt closure gives you a very spelt look. I love this and I love that it's white. It's a neutral color. I can wear it with everything and I am thoroughly impressed with their clothing pieces outside of their workout gear. And last but not least, she's my baby. I absolutely love this. This is so weighted and heavy. This is a zip up sweater. Oh my gosh. I love this so much. This is the shift front open zip hood sweater. I have mine in a size medium in black. It's designed in a cotton fabric that's breathable and cozy. It features a combination of knitting techniques, including potholes, lap stitches, and pick holes to help you show a very chic look. It's completed with a zip hood and it's a zip up front sweater. It's hip length. It's a looser style for a more relaxed fit and it is long sleeved. I love that there's a hood. This is something I have worn multiple times to boot camp because it's cold right now in the mornings and this is so heavy and comfortable and soft. I mean, I wish you could feel how heavy this is and how nice of quality it is. I love that it has the Yvette logo embroidered on it. I love this. Like, I really, really, truly love this. Out of everything, this is probably my favorite piece, even though I love everything that I picked up. I will link everything I showed you down below with some discounts. You can actually use the code GEN15 for 15% off all of your purchases or the code GEN20 for 20% off any purchase over $79. Definitely check out their sportswear, their leisure wear, and just their day-to-day -day pieces. I really love them. I am thoroughly impressed with the quality for the price. And as always, I love their workout gear. It is 100% a staple for me. So now that I've shared with you all my new pieces from Yvette, let's jump into my week. So like I said, I had a really good week. I feel like I am killing my goals for 2023. I know we're only a couple weeks into the new year, but I have been doing so well, just focusing on whole real food, getting in my workouts, drinking my water. I actually went and grabbed a water right before I started filming today's video to rehydrate after boot camp, and I just feel really good about where I am in my journey. Like I mentioned in last week's weigh-in, this month is a telltale month for me. I'm trying to determine where I am. Am I at my goal weight? Do I still have weight to lose? Where am I gonna be towards the end of the month? And am I ready to declare that I'm at my goal weight and moving into maintenance? That is something that's really weighed heavy on my mind this month, and I'm trying to do whatever I can do 
to really determine where I am in my journey. I've been loving all the foods that I've been eating. All of these recipes I've made with real whole food have really been satisfying and fulfilling. I'm definitely less cravy and less snacky, not only focusing on protein, but the types of foods that I'm eating. So, so far it has been a huge win for 2023. But before I jump in to my weigh-in, speaking of weighing in and tracking your weight, let's chat about, let's chat about this week's WW workshop topic. And that is how to create a weight tracking routine. I always say that the scale is not the only measurement of success. In fact, for me, it's the least measurement of success. Taking pictures, taking measurements, how my clothes fit, how I feel in my body, outweighs the scale any day of the week, but it's still important to check in on the scale, to make sure that you're not creeping in the wrong direction, and to see kind of where you are when it comes to your overall weight. Sometimes the scale can ruin our entire day. Sometimes the scale can make it the best day ever. It depends on what number the little box reads. What you also have to remember about the scale is it measures mass. So it's taking into account water, lean muscle, and fat. It's not differentiating between those different facets that make up our weight. So so if you get on the scale and it ruins your day, here's some tips and tricks to help it ruin your day, maybe a little bit less. Number one, when and how often will you weigh yourself? Choose a frequency between once a day and once a week, and then pick a day and time you can stick with, like first thing in the morning. Number two, how will you boost your confidence before you step on the scale? Try reflecting on a non-scale victory since your last weigh-in and pump yourself up with music or relax with a few deep mindful breaths. What will you say to yourself when you track the weight in your app? Put the number into perspective. The scale is just one measure and consider encouraging words like I am strong or keep on keeping on and what health promoting action will you do after you step on the scale? No matter what it says, it can be as simple as drinking a glass of water or going for a short walk. You can even prep or pre track your next meal. Write out your action plan. Days, time, location, I'll weigh myself. Before I step on the scale, I will. When I track my weight, I'll say to myself, and what I'll do right after weighing in is this. For me, I weigh in every Friday, first thing in the morning, after I go to the bathroom, fasted. That is the indicating that I do the same routine every single week. That's how we're going to get the most accurate number. Now, because I do have a fitness coach, I actually weigh myself every day, but I don't record my weight until Friday. Every day I'm seeing weight fluctuations. That is completely normal. Your weight is going to do this throughout the week. We're looking at what is that number once per week, once every two weeks, once a month, however often you feel like you need to weigh in. And like I said, don't let the scale dictate your life, your mood, how you feel that day, whether it's happy, whether it's sad, because it's just one minor insignificant measurement of your overall success. One situation that the scale can really wreak havoc is when we're in a plateau. When we step on the scale and it's the same number over and over again. This can actually have an effect on us called the ostrich effect. The tendency to bury your head in the sand to avoid potentially unpleasant information or feelings. So when we're at a plateau or when the scale's creeping up, we don't even weigh ourselves anymore. We stay off of the scale. And this is the ostrich effect. We need the accountability. We need to know where we are. We need to know if we're plateaued, if we're gaining, if we're losing. And that's what I mean by weighing yourself regularly, not necessarily every day or even once a week, but weighing yourself on a regular basis is important to your overall health journey. If you utilize these tips and tricks from WW, the scale can have a little less impact on how you feel after stepping on it. I hear this a lot from my coaching clients. I hate stepping on the scale. I hate when it's up because then it ruins my whole day, ruins my whole week. I binge eat. Don't do that. The scale is just a box with a number. It does not tell you how beautiful you are, how special you are, how well you're doing in your health journey. Focus on other facets like measurements, how your clothes fit, how you feel. I will tell you that my number on the scale is still pretty high, enough that I am still considered overweight on the BMI chart. We don't go by the BMI chart, but technically I'm considered overweight on the BMI chart. I'm not overweight. I don't have enough fat on my body to get to the healthy weight on the BMI chart because it's just a number and the scale takes in mass and I have lean muscle. I don't have a lot of excess fat, but I have quite a bit of lean muscle and the scale recognizes that as weight. So you have to know what makes up the weight on the scale and that should help it not ruin your day. And if you have a good number on the scale, sure, it makes your day better, but again, it's 
not the only indicator of success. So definitely try out these tips and tricks from WW to let the scale have a little less impact on your life. So speaking of the scale and weight and weighing in, let's jump in to this week's weigh-in. Like I shared in the beginning, January is the month for me to figure out where I am in my weight loss journey. Do I still have weight to lose? Am I at maintenance? How is shifting my focus to whole real food, continuing to get my workouts in, getting in my water, how's that going to impact me over all. Now, last week when I stepped on the scale, I was down a little bit in weight and this week I maintained. And that is amazing for me because that's another indicator that maybe just maybe this is where my body wants to be. We're going to see how the rest of the month plays out, but I am thrilled with a maintain. Absolutely thrilled with that. I know that maintenance is hard. I mean, I know that losing weight is hard. Trust me, losing weight is hard, but I have heard that maintenance is even harder. So the fact that I can maintain my weight, just makes me feel one step closer to having a successful maintenance. And we'll see what happens next week, but I couldn't be happier with weighing exactly the same on the scale as I did last week. So let me know how your week was. Did you gain, did you lose? What are your thoughts on the scale? Are you someone that steps on it and it ruins your day? Or are you someone that steps on it and goes, it is what it is, it's just data. Let me know down in the comments and if you're gonna utilize these tips and tricks to make the scale a little less frustrating. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Check out the description box for Yvette. I'll link everything for you, all the discount information. Absolutely love it, highly recommend. You'll also find nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my other favorite things. And don't forget, come join our Facebook group. We have a lot of fun stuff happening in the new year and we would love to have you. Happy Friday and I'll see you again in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.